blushed when I inquired. She witnessed to me as I lay in the hospital bed. She presented God's plan for salvation verse by verse. At 2 a.m., I repented of my sins and accepted Jesus. I was immediately filled with the inscribable, inscribable, indescribable joy. I was stunned and didn't understand what had happened to me. The first words out of my newborn mouth surprised me. I asked the nurse for a Bible. She handed me a Gideon hospital testament. They're white, anyway. Um, but she handed him the testament. The Holy Spirit led me to Acts chapter 22, where I read about some guy named Saul who walked on the road to Damascus. I read how Jesus had miraculously transformed him in a flash of faith, and I suddenly understood what had happened to me. He goes on to say he joined the Gideons, and he was allowed to carry the gospel into the darkest corners of the earth. He was wrongfully arrested for the sake of the gospel. He led the lost to Christ in languages that he didn't even know. And murders to Jesus and all the glory goes to God. This young man named Arturo Laredo, he said his cousin approached him for a special job offer, and he accepted. He would receive $3,000 to store two tons of marijuana in Mexico. He also had to hide it in cars with special compartments in order to cross the border and deliver it to El Paso, Texas. The smell was very strong at his home, and even his children and his wife smelled like marijuana. We had no trouble delivering the drugs. In November, my cousin came to me again, insisted on one last trip. It was before Christmas, and I needed the money, so I said, let's do it. However, when I crossed the border this time, U.S. immigration agents were waiting. They arrested me for drug trafficking, and I was sentenced to five years in federal prison in Texas. One day, some men called Gideons arrived at the prison. They gave me a little blue book. It was a New Testament. After reading Hebrews 1, 1 through 4, I said to myself, I want to know him. I began to seek God. Eventually I said, I want to serve you, Lord, and receive Jesus into my heart. I finished my sentence, left the prison, and started my own business. Now, where I used to store two tons of marijuana, I now keep New Testaments because today I serve the Lord in the Gideons International. My house is where my camp in water is. Store scriptures to God be the glory. Amen. Thankful for the testimonies yes. like that, that uh, just the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, changes hearts and lives. Uh, many times, you know, it's, it's better when, when we're there, when you're there or somebody there to, to lead them and guide them through these scriptures. But sometimes... They just pick it up and read. And in the back of it, it has, in the front of it, it has helps. These little testaments have helps to, to lead us and guide us to different problems that we have. Um, suicide is a really, really big, bad thing in our society today. And more so than, than I realized, and I probably still don't. The, it's something like the number three killer or something of our teens and so forth. Um, I don't. But uh, one of the testimonies that I remember of a young lady named Sandy who decided she wanted to end it all, and that's the thing about they say with suicide. A twelve-year-old girl just did last week in. Uh, I think it was Greenup County or something, but it's in our area, and it happens all too soon. But the thing with suicide victims, they they really don't want to die. They just want the pain to go away. And uh, I urge us all to do what we can to recognize any signs or whatever. And many times the people, they say, don't really give many signs, and, and it's hard to figure out. But this young lady named Sandy, she decided she wanted to end it all, and she got in her car. Her testimony goes, and... 
she was adjusting her seed and fixing it. She had it all planned out how she was going to end it. And in fixing her seat, she found a little Bible in the seat. And she pulled it out and thumbed through it and came to the back of the book. And at the top of it, it said, God loves you. And that's what people want is somebody that loves them. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And it says all are sinners, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And God's remedy for sin. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And then it says, All may be saved now. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10:13. And tells you what page to go to to find that. And then there's a place for to you to put your name and date when my decision to receive Christ as my Savior. Many, many times we have testimonies that people have just found this book and, and have given their heart to the Lord. I have uh, flyers I, I give everybody. I should have done that before, but I can do that at the end at the door. As I said, you can... Uh, for five dollars, buys one of these Bibles, a dollar and a quarter, buys the little testaments like we give out. Um, I've skipped over a lot of things, and but um, most of you, I think, know about it. Are the uh, cards? They get in cards that you can send for different occasions, thinking of you and in memory, in honor. And put they, they now have some inserts you can put in your own card of any kind of card that will work to do it also. Um, just want to share that these things with you though, so that if you didn't already know about the Gideons, you'll know a little bit more about them hopefully now. The life book is something that, that we have. The Gideons pays for these. We don't present them and give them out like the other books. These are made for students to give out so in the schools that we can't get in to hand out Bibles, students can do that. And Tiffany's did that over, did that at, at West Carter for all the students while she was there. And um, many churches have to order these. You go online, thelifebook.com, and get them. Any churches, any youth groups or whatever that would like to have them see me or, or go online, you can order them. They're free. And... That's all I have today. Thank you, Charles, and the church for listening. Turn back over to Brother Charles. Thank you, Charles. Oh, we appreciate that, and that is a great 